Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. And enjoy that comfort. Notice what it feels like in your body to be comfortable and really enjoy those feelings. And relax your body. Notice if there's muscular tension present anywhere in your body and invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to let go. Notice what that relaxation feels like and enjoy that relaxation. These sensations of comfort and relaxation might be small, but they're almost always available to us and we can almost always enjoy them. So allow yourself that pleasure now of enjoying comfort and relaxation in your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, Bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Using your body to gently nudge your mind towards happiness. This is the home base where we want to go to for our metta practice. Being comfortable and relaxed in our bodies with a gentle, easy smile on our faces. Without leaving this place, begin to use your mind. Reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for, that you can summon a sense of gratitude for, whatever that is for you. Today, I'm grateful for my friends, for the food that I had to eat, and for having a place to sleep. It'll be different at different times for each of us. Reflect on what it is that gives you a sense of gratitude. Use your mind to reflect on that. Oh, 
If as you do this, you notice any feelings of gratitude arise in your body. If you feel grateful, really savor that feeling. Delight in it. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Could be someone in your life, a small child or a friend or family member, a pet. And it could be someone imaginary, just imagining a puppy or a kitten, a panda bear or some fictional character that you feel connected to, feel love for. Bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, whoever that is for you. And visualize this person being happy. Perhaps it's a real memory where they were happy or you were sharing a happy moment together or you're just imagining a possible situation. In any case, visualize what it might be like for this person to be happy. Yeah, yeah, they always point If you'd like, you can use mental talk phrases in your mind to direct happiness towards this person. A phrase like, I love you, or I care about you, or may you be happy. Or perhaps a phrase that's particular to this person and your relationship with them. doesn't really matter what you say, so long as the intent is well-wishing, that there's love behind what you say. Whether you use images or talk or both, cultivate a sense of love for this easy to love person or animal. And if, as you do this, you notice any feelings of love arising in your emotional body, really enjoy those feelings. Like you're sinking into a warm bath, really enjoying the feeling of warmth, of safety. Feel the love that arises.
Very good. In a moment, we'll transition our metta practice. If there are any feelings of love or other positive feelings or emotions that have arisen for you, see if you can maintain those feelings, even as if we shift how we're doing the technique. It's as if you're making a turn while driving a bicycle downhill. Can you keep going downhill even as you turn? Whatever you do, go towards love. Visualize a fire burning in your heart, in your heart center, very center of your chest. It's as if there is a fire of love and light burning there. It's fine if this is entirely visual, imaginary. But if there are feelings of love, see if you can associate these visualizations with the feelings in your body. That may or may not be possible for you at this time because those feelings may or may not be available. But if they are, see if you can blur the line between what you visualize and what you feel emotionally in your body. See that fire burning, crackling in your heart. It's radiating light and warmth out of your chest, just like a fire. And this love, this light is spreading through your whole body. It's centered in your chest, but it's emanating out filling your head and your arms, your chest, your back, your legs, your feet. Your whole body is filled with this light and love. It's centered in your chest, in your heart, your emotional heart center. Visualize that now. You've been feeling love and warmth in your body. Continue to maintain those feelings. And in any case, stay with this visualization of light and love emanating just like a fire out of your emotional heart center. And this love, this light is filling your whole body, but it's also spilling out of your body to fill the whole room that you're in. 
just like a bright, warm fire spreading. See that light and love radiating out of your body, out of your heart center, and filling the whole room that you're in. Visualize that in your mind's eye. If you were in a room with a large fire, you'd be able to feel the warmth, see the light. There may or may not be someone in the room with you now, but imagine that if there is or were to be someone, they could feel that love, see that light. In just the same way that you're visualizing it now. This love, this light is touching, is impacting everyone that it reaches. And imagine it spreading through the whole building that you're in, your whole home or wherever it is that you find yourself. The entire building is filled with this light, with this love. It's still emanating from your heart, centered in your heart, but it's getting bigger and bigger, spreading, reaching outwards. Imagine that everyone that happens to be in the home or building that you're in can feel this love, see this light. Just like the warmth and light of the sun coming in at noon. It's palpable, felt. Inarguable. There's just so much love, so much light coming out of your heart. It's like an explosion, but it's not violent. It's beautiful, makes you happy, feel loved, feel connected. This love, this light. Visualize that in your mind's eye. And imagine that it's spreading even farther, reaching out of the home or building that you find yourself in, becoming larger and larger. At first, it encompasses the entire neighborhood that you find yourself in. And gradually, it spreads to include the entire town and city that you're in. Visualize what that might look like in your mind's eye for this love and light that's centered in your heart to spread so far, so wide. It's encompassing the whole place that you find yourself in whether it's a town or a city or somewhere else. Just getting larger and larger. It's 
It's like a fire spreading, burning everything in its path. But it's not destructive. It's enlivening, enlivening. Everyone in the town or city that you're in suddenly feels happier, feels loved. They may not understand it. They may not even notice it, but it's there for them. In the same way that you might not notice that the sun is out. You just feel warmer, can see things. Allow the love to spread out of your heart through the whole town or city that you find yourself in. Continue to access, feel, and maintain any feelings of love that might be present for you. Allow yourself to enjoy them, delight in them. Even as you continue to explore this visualization, so that there's no clear line between the images in your mind and the feelings of love and happiness in your body. Allow them to be associated with each other, to blur together. Imagine that if you were in a spaceship outside of Earth, that there would be a pillar of light visible in space from wherever you are. It's just a tiny beam in a specific spot on Earth, but it's somehow visible in space, emanating out of your heart. And even as you continue to feel that love in your heart, imagine that an astronaut on that spaceship might see that light spreading to encompass the whole region that you find yourself in, perhaps a state or other territory wherever it is that you find yourself on planet Earth. The light is getting bigger. There are more and more people touched by your love. You can imagine it taking any color that you like, white or gold or red or pink or any other color that you like. See that light spreading in your mind's eye. And allow it to encompass the entire country that you find yourself in. Everyone in the nation that you're in can see your light, feel your love. And it becomes clear that each person's heart that's touched by your light and love, that their light and love also shine because they're touched by love so that the light somehow impossibly becomes brighter and brighter 
there's more and more love spreading. It's so big now, it's filling the whole nation that you're in. This is also visible to that astronaut on that spaceship orbiting Earth. They've never seen anything like this before, and yet there it is, all of that light, all of that love. It's spreading so fast now, it's covering the entire continent that you're in. Wherever it is that you are, the love is growing and growing. The light is becoming brighter and brighter. More and more people are feeling your love. And it's spreading so that now it covers the entire earth. The whole earth is bathed in this love, in this light, radiating out of your heart. And somehow, that love is even brighter than the sun. So bright. Our sweet planet is a ball of love, bright and warm. Brighter than the sun, warmer than the sun. See that light, feel that love. And it's stretching out of the planet, filling the whole galaxy. Spreading and spreading, growing and growing. So much light, so much love. And gradually it fills the entire universe. Everywhere in the entire universe is filled with this light, filled with this love. And imagine that if there are other universes, if we live in a multiverse, that this love is seen and felt everywhere, at all times and all places. Is touching, is impacting, is felt by all beings of all kinds, not just humans, but plants and animals and any other kinds of beings that there might be. Everyone can see this light, feel this love. Visualize what that might look like. Very good. Now, imagine that that light and that love is gradually 
shrinking back towards your heart. First, it comes back just to our universe from all of the others. And then into our galaxy, like a puddle of water that's melting in the heat of the day. drying up. The light and the love are shrinking back into their source, your heart. And now they're just at the planet Earth, still a beam of light, a ball of love. Gradually, it shrinks back into your continent and your country and the state or region that you find yourself in and the town or city that you're in, wherever you are. And then the building or home that you find yourself in. the room that you're in, your body. And now it's in your heart. Your heart is filled with light and love. And then even that fades into emptiness. Take a moment now to look back on this practice period, to remember what it was like for you, to see if there are any lessons that you might learn from your experience, from anything new that came into play for you. Take a moment to consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 